In order to create a new activity in Ajuka Play, you must first log into your account. After you have signed in, click on New Activity to create your new activity. Next, you will need to select the type of activity you wish to create. Scrolling over an icon will show you the name of that activity. After you have chosen the type of activity, select the language for the activity, create a title, and give a brief description of the activity. Finally, choose the grade level for your target audience and the content area that best corresponds with your activity, then click Next. You can change the title and other basic information at any time by clicking Edit Data. Premium members can set privacy and run mode settings to determine who is allowed to access their activity and how they access it. In the General Data section, you can adjust the settings to be sensitive or not sensitive to capitalization and special characters for written answers. Next, you need to add the video you will use for the quiz. You can search for and select videos related to your topic with the search bar, or you can click on Embed URL to enter the URL for a YouTube video. After you have chosen the video, set the start and stop times for the first video sequence by dragging the arrows. If you are unsure of the times for the segment, you can click on the video to watch it and find the segment you want. After you have set the times for the segment, click Add Question to add a question about this segment. Type the question into the statement box, and then select the type of response. There are four types of questions. Single is a multiple choice question with a single correct response. Multiple is a multiple choice question with multiple correct answers. For both of these options, type in an answer, click Add Answer to add a new answer, and then select the correct answer or answers when you are finished. The written and wide written options require the user to type in the correct answer. Wide written gives a larger answer space for typing. If spelling does not matter for the answer, be sure to include common misspellings as acceptable answers. Also include any acceptable types of punctuation you think the user might use. Remember that the settings for sensitivity to capitalization and special letters can be changed in the general data section. The feedback section can be used to provide more information about the answer. This information will be available to the user after the question has been answered. When you are finished with the answers, choose the appropriate Save option. If you want to use another segment from this video, click Save and Continue Video. If you are finished with this video, click Save. Cancel will exit the video without saving the current segment, but will not erase segments you have already saved. You can rearrange completed video segments at any time by clicking and dragging them to the appropriate place. You can change the length of a segment by clicking Edit Segment, and you can change the question by clicking Edit Question. You can delete video segments by clicking on the X. Before you can publish your activity, you need to make sure it has at least three tags describing it. You can get tips for improving your activity by clicking Help and you can see what the activity will look like when it is published by clicking Preview. When you are satisfied with what you have created, click Publish Activity to make it available to the public.